Okay. Oh, yeah, I have options open because the, uh, of course, I needed to set up the resolution. Now, the resolution on this game is a little bit strange, being, um, not quite 16 by 9? I could figure it out if I really gave a shit, but I think it's 16 by 10. And I know there's a sequel for this that was just why I assume it's a sequel. It's the same company, same naming scheme. I think it's always Legacy. Ah, immense power. That won't be corrupted, definitely, in like five milliseconds. I do really like how this uh, feels like an old-ass uh, DOS game. Just a lot of the aesthetics are very much in tune with older DOS games or possibly NES. That's a weird button. Probably should have uh, actually gotten that set up. Saga, huh? Basically, it's, uh, in terms of pain things, uh, I'm hitting square to advance this text box. Since there's, there's ambiguity if I use literally any other naming scheme. Although it appears it might be set up for, like, a two-button... In which case, there's nothing wrong with, uh, X and square. Nor for that matter, if you're doing two-button, is there anything wrong with, uh, circle triangle? I definitely have a preference towards, um, X square myself. Uh, largely just because of the fact that that's where my thumb kind of more naturally lies. But a lot of that is not really natural so much as um because I know sometimes I'll need to uh walk to the analog stick ah for whatever reason I was expecting that to move just get knocked I wasn't really expecting to uh, break the block. I have, at some point in time, seen somebody... Maybe Ty back when I watched him play? Maybe Off played this relatively recently? Fuck, I honestly don't know. Oh, I guess this is a save room. Or a town. Oh, okay. I 
rather like the uh, animations in this. They're a bit simple, but that uh, that definitely fits the aesthetic. As for that matter, does the muted palette. I keep thinking we're going to uh, hit the top of the ladders just, I don't know, maybe two or three frames before we actually do. It's, uh... Caught me a couple times. I can't... I don't think we can reach that? No. And one nice thing is we can grab ladders midair. I also kind of like the uh, look of the ladders. They're not, uh... They are very consistent, but they're not perfectly straight ladders. Music is also definitely very good. That feels like it's makeable. And I don't just mean once we get inevitably get a uh, vertical upgrade, movement upgrade of some kind. I'm saying of some kind because I don't know if it's going to be double jump or, you know, something of that nature, or since we are supposed to be collecting magical artifacts, could be something related to that, spells, something of that nature. What's this knight say? We have our second, technically, mission. Um, this is... Yeah, I think we'll need to get a vertical upgrade of some kind. Oh, we can read the signs. I think I just forgot to hit the square button. Accidentally fat fingered the uh, button real quick. Damn it. Okay, so here we get our map. Ah, oh, nice. That's uh, a bit unfortunate that it's not retroactive to start of the game. X not up. God damn it. Oh, hey, it's... <laughs> I follow you on Twitter. I know, because you have the Tesla cat here. Too long. As well. And it's, uh... I... I know the... Arthur? I wanna say? Do you have anything else to say? Nope. I don't 
much care for that music as much as this uh, starting area's music. And to a certain extent, that kind of reminds me of uh, a lot of games that have used somewhat similar aesthetics. Uh, obviously, this is a much more developed aesthetic than most of those because... This is not being done on the on an NES. There's uh, there's actual space here. Even if you are trying to limit yourself to uh, be sort of similar, you tend to not follow all of the uh, various limitations. That's definitely makeable. Okay, key. I also like the uh, attention to detail with the enemies popping in after the screen has loaded. Also, this this particular music, while it's, it is good, is making me think more along the lines of, like, a racing game than it is... a... action game. I didn't even realize that there was safety down there. I uh, didn't actually take long enough to, to look at it to uh, realize that. But that's a good one. Once you make the first jump or two, you have some safety. Yeah, I guess that lines up center. But you can't, well, we can't at least currently get there. And sorry for hitting my desk with my uh, controller. That was not intentional. She doesn't have anything new to say. I do like the ducking sprite a lot. Really cute. Now let's go to the left. Probably could have made that, but it didn't make any sense to uh, take the risk. Okay, so I was just being bad at movement. We have yet to take damage because I am being probably overly cautious. Oh. Why? Oh, I guess that answers that. I was going to wonder why there was a... Uh, fish mob, and the game answered me before I even had the words out of my mouth. Uh, but, yeah, 
yeah, if we go up above, we should be able to get that. I jumped a tiny bit early, but... Damn it. Guess who didn't fully think this one out? Yes, the same person that, you know, just managed to get themselves hit by spikes. I have no idea how we're supposed to get through that. Given that... Let's end the right from here. Damn it. Of course. Very good. Only the best playing for me. That attack sound effect seems to go off more frequently than the actual attack does. I kind of hate that. I kind of hate that actually a lot. Okay, so we get our green gemstone. Just like Dana. I don't know what the fuck that means. That takes basically no time for the magic to refill. And I will probably be limited more by just not having the space than not having sufficient mana. I'd already forgotten which, where we were. Hmm. I guess sometimes they come out with, or maybe I moved it before it, or it took all damage or something. But I guess sometimes they come, can come out with what essentially amounts to uh, having taken some damage. So I guess they operate the same as any other type of block with regard to that. God damn it. Presumably that's supposed to be your introduction to uh, having your blocks take damage.
I can already tell that this one is definitely not going to be a, uh... Hmm. Even with... Yeah, we can't jump high enough for that. Even if we were to have both blocks. Even if we were to have a third block, we don't that would we would still be about a block site short. Yeah, one thing that uh I definitely notice in games that only that have relatively simple um key bindings controls is that I definitely tend to fuck things up a little bit more when I have say two buttons than when I have say five buttons and part of that is I just I'm not thinking about it yeah I don't think we can actually get up here so. I do kind of wish that I had uh, that we had a look up, even if it didn't do anything meaningfully or usefully, just so that I, when I was mentioning it, I could use that. Wait, that didn't fall? Weird. Okay, we have a uh, fish man shooting at us. I assume the gems will be important at some point in time. Some eventuality. Maybe we bomb? I genuinely don't know. No, we need the gemstone there. I can definitely tell already that I am going to hate how uh, precise some of this bullshit is going to need to be. Oh, what are you? Ah, neat. Okay. Oh, so the the blue orbs that we find but don't pick up are shown on the map. It shows the boss on the map, which is good. Oh, that's not really what I expected, but. I guess our next power is going to be uh, electric related. I'm fixing my gloves real quick. Oh, I uh, I tried the analog stick for the first time. Cool, fighter.
That's what the aesthetic reminds me of. Monster Boy. Yeah, I got overeager. I don't even know what I was thinking as far as that goes. I do know, though, that this having this block here is real good. Or it is if you're not being a giant dumbass. Taking a hit. God damn it. The square hitboxes fuck with me when things aren't, uh... Otherwise, where? So we have taken out Vicious Keeper. Apparently. Definitely, at some point in time, going to uh, get killed repeatedly by doing some head ass shit. Wait, that. I think this was the way we came in. That's fine. We can pick up the. Uh, Orbs. The orbs. And then we can check out the rest of the dungeon. After all, there is treasure about. And it could just be referring to the uh, gem, but I kind of doubt that's the case. Given the whole fact that the gem is, well, 110% fucking necessary. I never investigated the right. Hmm. 
Okay. So underneath that spike crap. Is it a fake set of spikes? It looks like. Yay! It's really shiny. Oh. Okay. I wonder if the copper coin does anything for us. Like traditionally that's that's the summoning thing for DD if I remember correctly. Well. Ah. Yeah, I don't think we can make that. I'm gonna check and see if there's like a hidden wall. It doesn't seem to be. But if we go up here, we can just fall off and... Actually, the, uh, the transition stopping us, or... Slowing our momentum, eliminating the momentum, uh, makes that good enough. Nope. Well, there is... something down. Not that we can actually access it. Oh geez, we are missing a lot of orbs here, apparently. That large one may be more than one orb. Damn. At least we, we retain our orb. What the fuck is that to the left? Oh, that's where we killed the boss. It's going to be great when I find out these orbs don't actually do anything. I don't even know why I'm trying to... Well, no, that's not true. I know why I'm trying to, to get this. Originally, it was because I, I wanted to get that treasure, and now it's because I'm perfectly willing to do head-ass shit to... Uh, Get optional collectibles. Cause boy howdy do I love myself some collectibles. Yeah, and this well, okay. I have an idea.
I don't know if I'm unhappier that my idea was the correct one. Or not. certain if we actually have access to it, but we shall see. Oh, actually, what is the interaction between our, well, I guess blocks of any kind and water is death? Good to know. wish since we had already been here just before we had gotten the map that the map completion stayed but okay so. no there's nothing we can actually have ac access to right now at least here make that one. This again, this might, this is probably just orbs. A big orb. I think even... Oh, weird. So those are multiple orbs, which is... I'd say it's good, but I don't actually know what the hell orbs do. Orb level is definitely a promising statistic. No, I guess it doesn't say there either. Might have to do with how quickly our magic restores. I know what is the... Ow. Needed to drop a block first. Probably get in the habit of doing that. I just jumped early. I'm not quite used to uh, the platforming on this. The fact that you can have the block be so far out. doesn't help things. Shoes. Of some kind. And we have access to over here now. Where we can beat up a wizard. 
I can't say he didn't deserve it. Oh, that's just the other side of that. But I don't think we can actually get down to that orb unless this. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think we have the mobility for that. I could easily be mistaken. It's just we do fall very quickly. And I'll hit up the save just so I don't have to... Uh, don't die when I inevitably run into, like, say, a slime. I am getting the hang of those ladders, which is good. Even that the first, like, five ladders I did, I, uh, jumped off of, like that. I just think they end the tiniest bit before they actually do. And it's even worse because... When you get to the top, you actually get a little hop to try to avoid the very issue that I'm running into. Hmm. I think we were close before. Yeah. Still can't quite get up to the top of that, though. And I think this is the warp? Yeah, okay. something that uh, allows us to interact with water. I have to assume so. No, we didn't really find the treasure in the uh, Amber Sicellum. Unfortunately. so we need to get a bucket. And I'm guessing we eventually get some kind of double jump related to our magic. I like that there's audio feedback for uh, when you're just too close rather than just it doing nothing.
I guess that just lets you have an easy path to get back. I want to get the save point first. I always open the map thinking that it's going to... I don't know, have some kind of projection of future. Oh, that's useful. I like the shortcutting. I mean, right now I like basically everything about the game. So I've definitely had some issues with uh, the physics at times. Just making assumptions normally based off of Monster Boy or uh, similar games because it starts to feel like a game I've played until I am taken out of it by it just all of a sudden not. Which isn't a bad thing. Just means that I am probably incorrect on what it's trying to emulate the feel of. Okay, so... Can't do anything there until we have a verb that lets us interact with water. Oh, for some reason I was... I had been operating under the assumption that that required interacting with the block. That is good to know. I assume that eventually we will have something like that for our regular block. And that is terrifying to step onto. Probably a bad idea. I probably would have take well. Probably would have taken a damage either way, but if I jumped I'd have had a chance at getting the orb. Ah. Those are neat. be able to get that safely. Oh, never mind. It does not go over quite far enough for uh, us to get the orb. Very nearly uh, went into spikes, which I'm pretty sure is death. It actually might be escapable. Um, I'd been operating under the assumption that it's death, but you can probably create a block and jump out of the pit. 
Oh, nice. Oh, the well is to get water. Duh. I just don't know what water does yet. Out to the left first. Halfway through that jump, that I did not think I would be making that one. Not actually. Huh. And now I'm curious what is the left here. good because new areas mean new music. Also new orbs. I'd have walked right into that one if I uh, hadn't let go entirely because I thought it was a dead end. It's not really, I think once we get the, I assume it's either the treasure or the, uh, gem for this area, we'll be able to do something either with jumping or with water. I'm not actually sure which one I really expect it to be. We've we've had about equal. Well, that actually tells me that uh oh. Can we make the jump to that? Yeah, that does not feel safe in the slightest, but... I, I really hate the tiny jumps. I know it's true to uh, the source material for much of it, but... Man, I hate doing them. And this is actually kind of rough. Since I missed that first jump. And uh, what I was trying to do when I ducked there was actually attack while ducking, which, because I had not had pause to prior to that, is where I got, got to find out that attacking while ducking is not a thing. Unfortunately, the nearest warp is a bit of ways. I think it's about the same going left or right. 
and they're not meaningfully different in as far as difficulty goes. I say, having already forgotten that this uh, had some potential instant death. Oh, upside, we uh, get a second shot at this. Could probably have done it without taking the damage, but... Got very lucky there. enemies' hitboxes seem to be a little bit more generous as far as being hit uh, than they are for dealing damage. Which is really nice for just an enemy that's kind of everywhere. to the right here. Or maybe contact damage just is not as frequent as I had uh, assumed. Boom Lake, I don't think we have... Uh... Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Huh. So I had taken side paths away from the actual progression. Westwood, of course, presumably being on the west side of the map, world map. Amethyst Passage. Not gonna lie, that sounds knit as hell. Or maybe I should qualify that one as knit stories as hell, since I'm pretty sure it's a fan-made map is what I'm thinking of. Hmm. This is probably where to go. Presumably, based off the last map, I mean, the last dungeon anyway, yeah. That one is where the boss is. And I had somehow missed that this was the save room. My eyes just glossed right over. Yeah, I guess so. So, 
what would filling it with water do? That's what I get for waiting as late as possible. So I guess that also tells me that if there is coyote time in this, it's not as generous as I would need it to be. Feels very weird. Oh, that. Jumping off of your uh, block midair, I'm going to guess is a speedrunner thing. It's it's definitely not frame perfect or anything. But... It did not feel good to pull off. So it's probably not something I'm going to be going for too much. And the reason I'm saying it's it's probably not frame perfect is because the whole I was able to pull it off not knowing anything about it. So it's probably my guess is it's probably intended, or if not intended, the devs at least knew about it. That's a lot of spikes. Okay, so... Shallow jump? I do really like how the... Uh, platforming... Feels really nice, and I've complained about it a lot. But when it works, which really it, it works most of the time, my complaints are mostly just related to expectations rather than. Huh. Uh, anything. Oh. oh, I guess those spikes are instant kill. That's good to know. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, the, uh... Oof. The frustrations with platforming are mostly related to trying to approach this game as if it were a monster boy or Xanadu or East 3 
that one didn't feel like I should have gotten hit, but... Hey, la vie. Conversely, that time, it that area, it did feel like we should have gotten hit. Objectively, I know the answer to that one is duck. Okay, yeah, we do get to keep our keys. Yeah, and I guess that one is dodgeable. I just, I probably just jumped too early. But if we hurry on that, we don't have to worry about getting hit by the little spinning things. I didn't hold jump long enough. I don't even think that's a matter of having gone too early. I, I, I'm pretty sure I just... I let go of it before... I was at full jump height. Which, I mean, that also is... Probably indicative of having gone a little bit early if I needed full jump height, but... I am, as I have shown many a times, ridiculously impatient. Which becomes really weird when you consider that I tend to have pretty decent patience for RPG battles and such. Oh. Oh, I think I see. We can only take one more hit. No, we can take no more hits. Didn't even see the flamethrower. Be 
becomes even better when you uh, consider that I was about to make the comment of, oh, this this orb is just out in the open. There's there's not even any danger. You know, I was, I was gonna go full head ass, as if I had not already, as demonstrated by jumping directly into the fireball. And something I don't think I've commented on, uh, but I really like, is the little bit of audio you get when your magic is fully recharged and you can drop another block. It's relatively minor, but it it means that you can just look at the gameplay rather than having to look at your bars. What does this gem do? Okay, so... Dedicated... Button for swapping. Unfortunately, we can combine those. I guess I ducked just a second too late. Was there anything not does not look like there was anything to the left? I of course jumped directly into the death spike. Oh, to the right was uh Oh I was I was thinking it was something else. I don't know why I was thinking I could jump off that and jump back on it when I was already close to the top. Okay, so you don't have enough time to jump off of it. Regardless of how close to the top you are. Good to know. I'm glad that this actually has a save room right next to it. That is very kind. just the centigrade. That is perfectly fine. Shall we put well? Oh. I think the easy I that was weird. I'm just going to hit up the save again.
the uh, little rotating enemy seemed to have pushed me, or at least it felt like it pushed me, since I stopped moving to the left. But my thumb may have just been resting on it. No, I, I think that's actually what happens if you land on them. It just becomes almost icy. That's real weird. It strikes me, I don't know what my actual plan here is. I don't think there's... Yeah, a way back out via this. I mean, there should be. I don't think anything in this game is intended to require you to die. That would be... strange for the style of game it's trying to emulate. Yeah, we can just go left up here. And that looks a lot like a face or a kind of a mouth. So, how do we get to this? That's probably from the other side. Almost thirdly from the other side. I feel really blind having just watched that uh, enemy walk into the hidden area. This, what I was looking for is... Oh, okay, so we actually had hit this area up. I don't... I don't think at the moment we can access... yeah. That. It is a little bit strange to me that the uh, save point for this is so deep into it. overall fine since it's not especially long, but it is a little bit of an oddity. It's also kind of nice having the enemies be uh, worth it to kill just on the basis of they somewhat frequently drop health. Obviously not all the time, but... That one did not feel like my fault, but... It demonstrably was. The game didn't forget to, uh... Hold the jump button.
Also, it feels weird that the uh, falling blocks stick around for long enough for that to work. Which actually does, thinking about it, make, make it feel a little bit more like uh, Monster Boy. Uh, the falling... well, at least Monster Boy and Monster World, which is the only one I really have put any time into. It's, uh... It's falling platforms tend to be fairly generous about letting you uh, have enough time to jump off. At least as I recall, anyway. Let's use this save room so we're not stuck in the bottom. And I don't know what is going to be over... I don't know if we can get over there or not. Apparently can, that's good. Okay, so I have to assume that there's going to be something hidden in this law. But, okay. Oddly precise required solution. What is down? Down looks a little bit more dangerous. I say is I almost immediately jump into the water. Okay, so this is the boss room. That's good to know. The other one was apparently for possibly the treasure of the dungeon. Did a point of damage, that's what the orb did. I don't know what my strategy there was. This 
aside from standstill and get hit. Not sure how to deal with that one, but looked like the only safe spot was where he was standing. still has um, a hurt bump during that. I'm going to see if I can jump over with just using the bubble. That would make things a little bit easier. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so... If I hadn't taken the damage from being a dumbass prior, I could have just burned down. I somehow doubt that's the intended strat. it or not, that definitely actually worked, which is more than I can say for anything else that uh, was coming to mind. Oh, and that actually works for getting up on there. I guess I've been a little bit over eager to use the uh, lock in addition to the bubble. you say anything new? No. because 
once again, for whatever reason, that, uh... Save room to the left of the entrance just does not... ...catch my eye, even though it's got the same star as every other save room has. doesn't have dialogue for that. Oh, yeah, now we'll actually probably find out at some point in time what that potion does. Whether it needs to be manually used or not. So I don't I don't think I have a button for it. I've not actually... not actually looked at the controls. Notice that the uh, staff gets the color of the gem you're currently using. So, just outside of Westwood. Oh, okay, so that's just to the left of Westwood. Good to know. Well, I mean, I suppose it could be just to the right, but there's no, uh... No obvious map squares for that. The way there are just to the left. Yeah, even knowing that I can make it, that still does not feel like a good jump. I guess it also just heals you. Good to know. So this is... I guess it doesn't really tell us. Might be a path to the Solstice Mountain or something. I think that requires us to have some way of dealing with water, presumably with our block. Probably just should have used a 
teleporter. Actually, there's a teleporter in here. So that is nice and easy. Huh. I apparently missed one of the first teleporters. Assuming that they're roughly in order. Oh, I want the Forsaken Valley one. I think so far this is my uh, favorite track. We've not seen a lot of the game's music yet, but... I have to assume the treasure here is that electric. Ah. Okay. Well, that's a good way to uh, introduce it in a way that scares the hell out of me. Ooh, the elf is back. What do they have to say? Yeah, I, I have to assume that if you get all of them, you get some benefit out of it. doesn't actually help me, does it? I need to do it over here. And then come back and push this to the left. Let it drop, and then move it out of the way. I managed to catch it before uh, needing to redo the very tiny amount that I had done prior. I have already forgotten what the elf said, which is very good for uh, demonstrating about my level of concentration right now. Oop. I have to assume they're mortal from the front.
Huh. What? Now is this timing? Okay, yeah, probably. I was fully expecting it to be uh, too fast for that. Rather hoping for a heart drop. That might be what this guy is for, though. But rather tedious to get at. There's not much point of this down here if there's not a secret of some kind. Hello, Blood. Yeah, it's, uh... I think I've seen part of it before, but... I'd been wanting to play it for a while. The, uh... Retro just really, retro styling just really called out to me. Oop. The lack of coyote frames is really fucking with me from time to time, though. And th there might even be coyote frames, and I'm just too slow to react. It wouldn't surprise me. stuff like have try to jump from the front of the like platform instead of the back Yeah, 
And I need to wait for that now. Probably would have been capable of making the jump before, but... I didn't trust it. Uh, a heart made of spikes isn't a really endearing game. Especially when they're the one-hit kill spikes. Oh, that actually explains why they look like Mega Man spikes. Actually, was there a way for me to get up? Not that I can see. to need to do that one. Actually, this isn't... I take back what I was about to say. Positive about it. The falling feels awful. I think we have to come in from above. farther left than it actually does. Oh. Actually, that one's way easier to meet with just the uh, bubble. I hate that heart. Oh, and now that actually makes sense why those, uh... bikes that are directly in front of Zoe here are, uh, are there. To, uh, potentially catch you if you just hold left. There is a lot of thought put into making these things very annoying. I apparently can't not hold left. Even though I was able to do so twice before.
that one feels like I should have been hit by those uh, spikes. So I, I'm guessing the hitbox isn't really as bad as it feels. And actually, it looks like if I just do the, uh, the low jump on that, it's perfectly safe. Which, of course, makes it a little bit more uh, annoying that I screwed it up as many times as I did. We can't do anything with it, so. Not exactly relevant. Yeah, the game's been very generous with uh, the way it checks checkpoints things. Everything is checkpointed. Regardless of whether you've hit a save or not. The blue orbs... Keys. Anything you can collect is seems to be saved to your file when you collect it. So as a result, sometimes the game is a huge dick about things. Which I'm a lot more fine with. forgotten about that. Unfortunately, this platforming is not as difficult as uh, I expected it to be at the first glance of the room. This one is, though. Because that thing eats your blue orbs. Actually, that one's also not that bad. in too quick. But now we have the third gemstone. And now we can attack. Oh yeah, that, that recharges super slowly. We probably need to activate all of those. And that thing was just to show you that you could activate those. Uh, and this is telling me that we have activated one. But that's... I have to assume that's going to be the treasure. Either the treasure or the... Probably the treasure. I was going to say either the treasure or the boss.
let's hit save real quick. Since we will be laughing about towards the bottom. Since I don't remember where I've seen those, uh, all of those statues. Is actually more generous than I expected. That's two down. Well, I think there was one to the left, but I know I'm actually wrong on that. Woo! I'm actually not concerned at all about the damage. I should be, but... how knowing that uh, you're not going to lose any progress eliminates a lot of the pain of dying in video games. Missed one below. Like that one, which doesn't seem like it can hold a charge. I was actually kind of stuck in a, a loop sort of like that uh, earlier because I was messing up a lot of easy things. Oops. Okay, well that tells me how the uh, bottle worked since I had died to instant death every time prior to that. curious as to if this is for a treasure or if this is actually required. I'm beginning to suspect actually required since none of them were very difficult to get to. On the other hand, I also lucked into three of the four. Well, one of them was on the path, but... Yep, required. That's unfortunate.
Okay, well, that's one more hit than I've typically gotten on... Oh god, the walk back is... Actually, no, the walk back's fine. I would prefer if there was less walk back, but... Oh, yeah. Lightning Bolt. I have an attack. So used to only being able to smack things. Damn it. Although, actually... Okay, so first time went a little bit better just by virtue of the fact that I, I was able to get a smack in. But I should probably be playing more defensively. Given the whole I have three health and I think he has five, six. I should probably also actually look at his bar. That's that's a bit more than that. Probably more like eight after the uh Hmm. Maybe standing on that platform is a bad idea. You know, after after three tries of the exact same thing happening. is actually a fair bit larger than I was anticipating. I guess his body is still present even if it is invisible. That, uh, that's gonna be annoying. My brain is a little bit fried from earlier, and from having been outside today, where it was just too dang warm. So I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow during the day. Yeah, good night, both of you.